Good land management, sustainability and animal welfare have been really important parts of what we've been doing for a long time now on our farm and uh, it's really good that now that overseas companies are looking for it and we can actually be a creditor for what we were doing anyway and receive a premium for our product. So that's really encouraging and we've embraced that. I'm Lindsay Young, uh, we're standing out in the paddock here at Lewisham, our property between Campbelltown and Ross in the middle of Tasmania. This farm has been in my family since the mid-1940s and I've been here all my life. Exactly. Our property here at Ross is 1,100 hectares. We run about 7,000 merinos through the winter, 3,000 of those lamb, and our lambing percentage is around about 130%, so there's plenty of lambs around in the springtime. Oh yeah, Ray and I are both um, <coughs> moving into, into our 60s, and um, we've just been joined on the farm by our daughter and son-in-law, Joey and Colette, who uh, moved up to the farm to help. Our lamb marking is done mostly out of portable yards. We take the yards to the sheep rather than sheep to the yards. We find there's a lot less stress without move, having to move lambs a long distance. It's easy to get a small mob into the yards, get them processed and back out and mothered up as quickly as possible. We tend to lamb in small mobs and mark in small mobs so there's, uh, there's less stress for everyone. And the, sheep, the lambs aren't away from their mothers any longer than necessary. The yards are pretty pretty portable, they you can unload them in about 10 minutes and load them up in about five. We tend to pick favourable spots that link to as many paddocks as possible so we can um, do multiple mobs in one area before moving on. Our pole merinos are different to the normal run of pole merinos even though they're becoming more popular and uh, we tend to be breeding a real dual purpose sheep now where the where the lambs are turned off as trade lambs at about seven to eight months of age. Yeah, since uh, painkillers come on the market for sheep we've um, embraced that. Since numb nuts has come on the market we've been using that because that gives almost instant pain relief for the first two or three hours of the after marking and then we also use an analgesic that uh, lasts for three days. The difference between what we were seeing in the lambs before and now is uh, markedly different. Uh, before we used to get a lot of lambs writhing around on the ground for an hour or so after marking and uh, now we see lambs just walk straight back out into the paddock and hook up with mum almost instantaneously and get on with life and it's a lot less stress for the lamb and a lot less stress for us as well. The RWS scheme accreditation is, uh, always leads to a very uh, increased competition on any sale day but we also sell about a third of our wool on forward contracts to a company in Germany called Autovox that produce a lot of next to skin outdoor wear for um, skiing and extreme sports and uh, they've been really good supporters of our wool and it's been wonderful to be have that partnership to know exactly where our wool's going that someone appreciates what we're doing on the farm as much as we do. Yeah we find this uh, Numb Nuts applicator very very good, it's easy to use, it's safe and as far as uh, putting the elastrator rings on it's the best best tool I've used. But when you start to use it it's ergonomically very good. It's easy to remove and change the bottle. Just a quick twist to remove the old one and the other new one just slips back in and it's very easy on the hands. Yeah. I see a good future in the farming industry and farming sheep, uh, providing we uh, move with the times and keep up with public expectation. We're uh, actually trying to produce a premium product on our farm, so it's important that we actually 
deliver on things like animal welfare and sustainable land use practices. And I think if we can do those things, there will be a good future for sheep and wool.